Mike Gundy is not losing his job. That's the word tonight from Oklahoma State after the university says it spent the last couple weeks reviewing the OSU football program and talking with current and former players. Gundy has been engulfed in controversy after this picture started circulating on social media in mid-June of him wearing an OAN shirt, a controversial far right-wing news commentary network that has been critical of the Black Lives Matter movement. Many of his players took public exception to it, led by All-American Chuba Hubbard. Gundy has apologized multiple times since wearing the shirt. Tonight, OSU Athletic Director Mike Holder sent out a statement that reads in part, Coach Gundy needs to invest more time in building stronger relationships with his student athletes. However, our review has uncovered no signs or indication of racism. After meeting with Coach Gundy, I am confident that he listened to his student athletes. Holder's statement about Gundy goes on to read, I believe he is genuine in his commitment to strengthening relationships with his players. I believe this to be a win for everyone. I'm looking forward to seeing the impact this will have on our team. University President Burns Hargis also sent out a statement tonight. His statement reads in part, the underlying issue was a lack of personal relationships between the head coach and players rather than anything racial. This issue is fixable. Another meeting with, after a meeting with both Mike Holder and Mike Gundy, I believe they are committed to taking steps to strengthen the relationships. The statement goes on to read, I appreciate the student athletes speaking candidly. It's time to turn our attention to preparing for this year's highly anticipated football season. To read the entire statements from Mike Holder and Burns Hargis, you can go to the Fox23.com sports page. They'll be in the top story. Neither Mike Gundy or Chuba Hubbard have commented yet tonight. Holder will have a virtual news conference tomorrow morning. We'll cover that for you on Fox 23 News.